Roller coasters? Nah. -uh. I used to be a coaster enthusiast, but we can't let them keep getting away with it. I stood by them for so long, but they keep letting the money get to their heads. See, for over a century, roller coasters had nothing bad happen to them ever, but then this really cheap, decrepit coaster called Fury 325, which was probably put together with toothpicks and chewing gum by Jim from Quick Trip, had the audacity to just, just watch the video. This video got spread all over Twitter, and as per usual, Twitter's users reacted appropriately and responsibly. They went cheap. Maker, and this is what you get. Fury is not that old of a ride to have these issues. They're gonna have to look at the company that made those joints and all the rides they developed for. And uh, I agree with this guy. I think the makers of this ride were actually B&L Enterprises, and they are notoriously cheap and unreliable. I can't believe they still exist. Look what they did to the fucking Earth! Gee, I wonder if this is the new trend of reality of capitalism that doesn't believe in regular maintenance and uses things till they break. This truly is what happens when John Capitalism from Sweden runs a roller coaster park, and I'm tired of letting him get away with this. The park should be forced to perform regular, non-destructive tests or NDTs on their coaster track as part of a regular safety and maintenance schedule, and the idea that they don't already do this is simply outrageous. The power of social media has surfaced its head again. Uh, and, and, and I agree with this guy. And what power social media has to cut right to the point. If only the world were run by Twitter users and YouTube commenters, then we would truly be safe. But if Carowinds ran the world, we'd all probably have cracks in our houses and cars right now. Because just when they're caught with their tails between their legs, their hands on the axe, look at the absolute nonsense they put out in their official statement. We will conduct an extensive series of tests to ensure the safety and integrity of the coaster. We plan to operate the ride for 500 full cycles, which is just not enough, Carowinds. It should be 5,000 cycles. Oh, I'm sorry, what was that, Carowinds? You don't like safety? That's what I thought. B&M is regarded as one of the premier ride manufacturers of the world. It's important to understand that rides like Fury 325 are designed with redundancies in place to ensure the safety of guests in the event of an issue such as this. See guys, they don't even spell B&L right. These are the people we're trusting with our safety? I've literally been saying this for years, but nobody has listened to me. Roller coasters are death machines. They care more about the thrill than safety. That stat about how you're more likely to die on the way to a roller coaster than actually riding the roller coaster is completely false. It was made up by Fox News as a joke, but then Associated Press took it seriously. It's a sign of how backwards our society is, that it takes people dying on fury for us to finally take roller coaster safety seriously. I mean, just look at all the incidents that happened at Six Flags, who owns Carowinds. There's a whole Wikipedia article dedicated to that. How much longer is it than the Wikipedia article detailing every car accident? Huh? huh? Trick question, that article doesn't even exist. And how can we trust our safety with the people who own Congo Rapids, the ride that had a goose in its conveyor belt? I'm sorry guys, Six Flags is cancelled. I don't make the rules guys, sorry, I shouldn't have, I should have left that goose alone. 